All right. All right. I believe we should be good to go here. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is Master Sarmarin. And, um, yeah, welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion. So, um, yeah, we started playing this game on Tuesday. We got up to about halfway through Area 3. Have 19 out of 50 booze here, which is a pretty good total, I think, for this point in the game here. Uh, we're just gonna be kind of continuing on here. Not a lot more to it than that. Um... Alright, let's just continue on here. So, I just gotta really quickly... Yeah, okay, I think I have the control, like, controls back in my head. I mean, it's only been two days since I last played this, but it took me, like, half the first area to kind of just adjust to how this game is played, but I think I have a bit more of the idea now. I do recall missing a boo in this area here. That's a bomb. Let's get this thing. Yep. Okay, where the heck is that into there? Okay, I feel like I, maybe I just never went into that room before, the music room there, I believe that was. A part of me wants to say I did, but maybe I didn't, I'm not really sure. There's a heart in here, right? Yeah. Not the heart, not the things. I think that's what this is, the music room, right? Yeah. There we go. I think that was the one boo we didn't have since last time, but not too bad otherwise, though, I don't think. And besides that, I think we just have whatever's in... Um... Whatever's in the start of... Here we go. So, let us make our way back there. I never remember how, like, I feel like the progression at the at this point is kind of a little bit weird. Like, I never remember, like, what's explicitly Area 3 and what's explicitly Area 4 and whatnot. Okay, so I think we've gotten just about everything on this upper f area here. I know the areas in yellow there are part of Area 1 there. Actually, wait, what the... Oh. Um... Huh. Um, that's a door we can't do anything with, I don't think. Right. Do I get locked out going up this way already, or...? Yeah, this is a locked door and the, uh, this one's a fake. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I guess I gotta go all the way back around for 
one hallway that didn't even look like it was a thing. Hello there. Wait, what the? Did I just hear a golden nose? Um, what was that? Da -da 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 -da. Is that a just for the gold bar there? Or? Okay, I know what room that is there. I just can't access it yet. I wish I had gotten that. I don't know if that was actually a gold mouse or not. All I heard was the do 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 do, but like I didn't hear if that actually led to anything or not there. I don't know what the heck damaged me there. Head back around then, I guess. Not worry too much about about that, I guess. Still don't have the key to that like side door there. I don't remember when you get that. Cause I want to say it's a pretty optional thing, if I remember right. I don't know if chocolate's like a hundred percent that, but it's twins room. Um, well, first I'm just gonna investigate if there's like a speedy spirit or something. I'm kind of doubtful of that right now, but. I did know to check that. I swear to God, I do not remember, like, oh, come on, is that money really stuck there? Nope. It's raining money. Um, but, uh, yeah, how's it going, Jeremy? No, I didn't really say hi to you yet, but... I think you gotta spin this airplane thing here, don't you? Oh, or get money there. Sure, why not? There we go. Hey, mister, what are you doing over there all by yourself? Hey, why don't you play hide and seek with us? Ha ha ha. Yay, okay, we're gonna hide now, wait outside. Okay, you can come in now. That was like a Pikmin-ass sound effect there. Holy hell. Yeah, they hide in these presents, I think.
guess. Yeah, there was a guy in there. Mario. And this is gonna be the last one here. Or the other one, I guess. There's only two of them. Mario. Yeah, that is some, like, Pikmin ass sound effects there. Okay, well, this is going to be an awkward fight to, oh yeah, this is going to be a really awkward fight, I'm probably not going to get a good ranking on this. God, how are you supposed to do that? down now. This isn't going to be so bad now, but there's only one of them left, but... Ah, damn it, really? This is kind of an awkward, like, first boss to come back to with... There we go. That's just a ball. And there's Mario's shoe. All right. Uh, it doesn't really make progression like any more sensical. Boris. Got Boris in the one go, not even leaving a room. That's pretty nice. Okay, uh, that seemed, well, that's not really optional, but it didn't really seem like it was that helpful either. Oh, I see where I can go now. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a fool here. I'm seeing something I can do here. Does it tell me how, where, if I have all the Mario items here, if I can press the right thing here? Yes, it does. Okay, and I'm only missing one thing. This is also like a Wind Waker as hell menu screen here. Hmm. Mario. Because I'm willing to bet... Like, I know where the last of the, the Mario items is, just because it's, like, one of the most memorable rooms in the game. Um, get the heart that's here, too. Might take some water, just in case. Thank you for the follow notification there. Um, uh, Septic Kid 24 thank you for the follow there. I don't know if the follow notification just showed up on stream there or not. I couldn't, I could, I could hear it, and I got, like, an email notification there, but, um. Yeah. I need fire for this room. Okay. I'd say I'm surprised there's not like a speedy spirit here or something, but I mean, there's only like 10 of those in the game, I thought. So. Okay, I. Okay, I definitely need fire for this there. Can I get fire around here? This is a, 
Yeah, this is a bathroom. Hmm? Now where I can get ice nearby. Or, actually, there might be fire in here. No? Okay, I did open that up earlier. Um, hmm. Mario! Hmm. See, you can't get fire from these candles just because your vacuum would blow them out so much. This is just another bathroom here. I can get water here, but it's not really what I need. Hmm. Tell me I gotta walk all the way around here again. I don't remember needing to do that thing I also remember of this game, so. down doesn't lead anywhere um what's in this this room's just the ice room here isn't it yeah uh unless oh i just can't normal candles yeah of course i need to go all the way back around to get fire here why wouldn't i I really don't have the key to that. No, I don't. Ugh. Such a long ways away. You know... <sighs> gonna do this for the first time here, I think. <laughs> I did always find that a really cool effect, though. It's kind of a quick little fast hmm. trick back. I mean, honestly, this is faster to just do that than it is to like walk all the way down here then walk all the way back i mean i still need to walk all the way back but at least this was a faster way to get to the fire here didn't mean to hit that yeah it did save a little bit of time Also, good evening, uh, Slewfinks. This door. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to suck that guy up there. If I had, like, an easier teleport back to start area, like, I don't know where the nearest mirror was. I just saw the one in the Biff Atlas room and figured, why the heck not? this being, like, probably the coolest part of this game. This room and the next room. Oh, well. These guys probably aren't going to make it for the coolest part of the game material, but it's... I'm finding kind of the directions to be a little bit awkward. Ooh. Is there no... <sighs> Thank you for letting me know that, Ziangu. Uh... Shoot. Uh, how do you... Only game audio is left here. Thanks for the... Thanks for the heads up on that. Um, let me fix that. Yeah, 
that should be fixed now. Um, thank you for letting me know that. And hey, man, hope you're having a good day. I don't think you celebrate Thanksgiving because I don't think Norway has Thanksgiving normally, or if they do, it's not in November. Honestly, I have a hard time going back to some of my earlier videos, even Let's Plays that, like, I really cherished back in the day because of the whole, like, mono down mixing. It's not Turkey Day for me, that was last month. <laughs> Turkey Day just before Halloween. Oh, yeah. Boom Swoogle. Hmm? Yeah, I'm from the Canadian land. Oh. Thanks. You're in the same room you were just in. I'm ignoring the really cool thing because... Where the heck did that boo go? Uh, don't tell me he went where I think he went. Damn it, if that boo went all the way, like, down this way, which would have been, in a way, earlier on Rome, then I'm definitely not going after him right now. I find sucking up the hearts to be a little more cumbersome than I'd like it to be sometimes. Please be in here. No, he went down. I'm not going after him right now. I'm just saying that's straight up front right now. He can wait. I do have some tea here that I should probably be drinking. Oh, he might be in here actually. Oh no, he did go down this way. Come on, you have... <sighs> I find you just don't really... Like... Don't... Where did that guy go? Please be in here. Don't tell me he went all the way around there. <sighs> Please tell me this guy didn't go all the way around with one freaking HP. He totally did. Uh, you know what, actually, I'm gonna get this thing out of the way here, because... I, after I get this, I'll need to backtrack to Area 2 anyway. It's not a... I doubt it. I always did think this was a really cool... Like... Shot for the GameCube. I mean, <laughs> looking back, I can tell now how it looked. Whoa, that was some weird... Uh, you guys saw that. That was some weird freaking graphical hiccup there with... Yeah, I used to think this was, like, really cool. And that missed. That should hit that. Yep. And for pulling a Sonic Adventure 2, which came out around the same time, I believe. In fact, a star down here. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go as far to say I think this is probably the most, like, notable thing about this entire game. It's, like, just this scene here. Or, like, most memorable, I think. It's gotta be at least one of them, because it's just such a really cool, like, observatory area. Now, I have to go a really far ways away to get this one boo. It's also tripping me up that that thing there has inverted uh, camera controls there, which I don't even mind as much because like I'm used to inverted camera controls for Mario Sunshine, although now I'm used to those being uninverted thanks to 3D All-Stars, but... <sighs> Where is this stupid boo? There's only so many things you can go to. Don't you dare go into another room. Alright. I think we're making pretty good progress on the booze right now. I don't know what the max total you could have by this point, but this has got to be close to them, I would think, because I feel like I've been getting it just about every boo after every roam. I have not played the 3DS version of this game personally. Um, I'll be honest, this is the only Luigi's Mansion I've played, although I do... I showed this off last stream. Um, I did just recently pick this up, and um, I do... I am curious about playing this game now. I realize the glare is really bad. There we go. Um... To be honest, I've never played Dark Moon, and um, I've heard really good things about Luigi's Mansion 3, so I'm curious to see what, like, what that's about, because I have heard really, really good things about it. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I'm not in the light here, am I? There we go. Thank you for the host, Ziangu. Really appreciate that. Hmm, what is this object you have here? Show it, please. Madame Clairvoya. Uh, what's this? If it isn't Mario's glove, ah, it's still damp with the sweat of the living. Now they come, now spirits come. Spirits power, come spirits of sight, show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Suddenly you're turning into Gruntilda, Crystal Orb, symbol my clan. Use your darkling power to show us what you could, I mean can, show us all you can. Show us this Mario. Light of the spirits comes, show us what we seek. Ooh, hmm, your Mario is in prison, but where? Oh, where is he being held? Yes, a painting. Your Mario is being imprisoned within a painting. My orb shows an old altar. And come on, you stupid orb. Yes, above it. Mario, trapped in a painting. <sighs> I cannot concentrate. The spirits are leaving me. Wish no more, but your Mario bring me his dropped items. Well, we have a lot more of these. This is Mario's shoe. Why the soul is so worn off? He's walked a thousand miles. Oh, they come. Now spirits come. Spirits power. Come spirits sight. Show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb symbol of my clan. Show me your darkling power to show us all you can. I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. Let the spirits come. Show us what we seek. Listen, can you hear it? The inner voice of your sweet, beloved Mario. Oh, horrors. What is this? A king? King Boo? What is this? King Boo? I don't understand what it means, but beware of King Boo. This is what your brother wishes to say to you? Oh yes, a Boo wears a crown. I see. This is King Boo. So, he's the one who's captured your Mario. Ah, I can say no more. The spirits leave me even now. I'm not going to do the dialogue for the fourth time here. And Let's see. Look out for Boo's Luigi. Is that all? Oh, not an obelisk, Mario. 
must have been written in quite a hurry. Oh, they come. Now spins come. Light of the spirits come. Show some you seek. Ah, I can hear it. Your brother Mario. He cries for you. What, the power of the booze? You wish to tell us something of the mysterious boo power? Oh, hmm. The booze do indeed have strange powers. When they gather in numbers, the power grows stronger. But they do fear the mighty Poltergust 3000. Ah, uh, if you're... I don't have enough power within me to read one more of your brother's dropped items. My strength ebbs away. Hmm. Hmm. Not reading this dialogue for the fifth time. If it isn't Mario Star... What otherworldly beauty. Oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come the spirits power. Come the spirits sight. Show me softly in the green night. Absorb symbol of my clan. Use your current power to show us all you can. I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. Let the spirit come. Show us what we seek. Ah, uh, the spirit turns to me. I see. I see. I see your dear Mario. The scene appears before me. What is this? Bowser. How can this be? I see the hideous form of Bowser. Is Bowser somewhere in this mansion? I cannot believe it. And yet I see it. I thought that Mario was soundly defeated Bowser. Has King Boo somehow revived Bowser? This would be horrible news. Well, for you. Ah, uh, no more power to The spirits to prayer. That's all I can show Luigi. That was the last of my power, but I have given more to what the spirits have shown so I can return my painting satisfied. Send me the air now. Your Valky. Yeah. Basically, she wants to be sucked up here. I remember this being a pretty easy fight considering she doesn't even really want to fight you. I just hope I get lucky with that, that poison mushroom there, but yep, we did. Very easy, no damage, got all the big orbs here. Um, let me, I said, got all the big orbs here. And I'm assuming this is going to be a key here. Oh, yeah. I know Madame Clairvoyant's personality is that she doesn't really want to fight, but... I remember as a kid, I felt like that quest line was a lot longer than I thought it was. Yeah, okay, that's really close to the end of this chapter now, I think. Nothing. There we go. Booigi. <laughs> well, they have Gooigi, so might as well have Booigi. Pretty convenient. I, I think one thing I like about the booze is that it's a nice, convenient save point for after you um get all the boo or like beat a boss or whatever. Yeah, I guess it is that one area that we have left to go to. Mario. I'm still wondering... Yeah, okay, I guess... I know where the... I know where there is a hidden area in Area 4. Mario. But like, even then, I feel like that's like halfway through Area 4, I think. So... I feel like I remember when you get that key, but it's, I don't know. It's it's just such a nice shortcut having that door open there and having it needing to walk all the way around. It's just kind of a nuisance at this point, but oh well. Let us head to the attic. Because I believe we are about to get some stuff underway. Mm -hmm. Oh, this room. I could believe that. Mario. Um, okay, I can just go straight through here. I guess there's nothing in there for right now. Um... door is locked, really? Oh, 
this is open here. Oh, I see. I see what room's open. Yeah, it's... This room's open now. Oh, wait. Getting my buttons mixed up again. Oh, there we go. Um, oh, I need... I really need ice for this, seriously. <sighs> Dang it. Well, we're backtracking again. Not as far this time, but still decently far. I always felt like ice was a really cool element in this, but it's pretty underutilized. In general, I think the elements are kind of underutilized. Like, I, I already said in general in this sentence, but... In general, like... I don't know how else I could really word that, because... Yeah, the elements, they... I don't know what about them it is, it just feels like... You don't really use them for a whole lot of anything. Uh, like, there are some unique puzzles you do with it, but then other stuff like this, this isn't really a unique... Oh, I see. It's for... It's for, uh... The gearheads. Hello. I'll gladly take that. Guy. Come on. I want to get you. Oh. This is this is ass. I'm sorry. It's not even like hard ass. It's just ass. Yeah, trip on... We're gone. It's just the ice guy that's left here. There we go. Kind of a weird room to have just before, like, the major boss, because there's not even really a ghost in this area. And I'm assuming this is the boss door. If it's not, I'd be... Yeah, I was gonna say, I was... I would have been very, very surprised if that wasn't the... boss door there. Lil Boop Keep lost his sheep. Come on! This, like, this kind of stuff isn't even really that funny, it's just, like, hey, I hit you and then I'm just going through another door. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, at least it's not going to the room to the left there, that's the only thing I don't want there. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Let's save. I don't think we're hard in here. Mario. Ah, screw it. I highly, highly doubt I'm gonna get a perfect on Bulasis here, so... I'm out of spoiler of the next boss for a... almost 20-year-old game now, so... Yeah, our boo radar just goes off the rails. Oh, there is a heart right here. Um, 
Oh, there we go. That scary cat Luigi has made it this far. Oh, we're so frightened. I guess it's our turn then. All right, booze, let's assume our real form. First, how about giving him a little scare? This was always a really cool looking ar arena as well. All the boss arenas were always really cool looking, in my opinion. This boss is a little bit... <laughs> kind of... just... A little on the lesser interesting side, but... idea and it also when you realize that this accounts for like ha a good several of the booze in the game I think it does kind of help make this guy a little bit more like bearable in a strange way um, I'm missing like crazy gear but oh okay well I got a bunch there you're gonna reform. There's only two left of this guy. When he gets down this low, this is when he gets annoying to put it mildly. There we go. Back here. God, I hate aiming this thing. I think in the PAL version they changed this boss fight, or maybe it was like the... I, I think it was like a European-only Wii version of this game, which, like, is kind of strange. I don't think, like, a whole lot of people talk about it. Or maybe it was Japan-only or something, but... Um... Yeah, I heard they did change this boss in, like, some version of the game, I think. Like, not starting as immediately as I wanted to, the, um, the ice burst. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Got them both. That was a pretty solid fight with Bulosis there, actually. Yeah, 39 out of 50 boos there. Now, as soon as I get that, that's going to call the end of this chapter, so... Yeah, you know what, screw it, let's get that. Why not? Is it Luigi? Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, what a relief that white mist interrupted your signal. Hmm, it seems one quits upstairs work there. Why don't you come back to the lab? We can have a general with case pickles portraits. Now I'll make an old family recipe. Pickled dandelions with barnacles and diesel marinade. Hmm? We can do 
do that. That sounds like an idea. I probably did not get a very great rank on a lot of these, but I guess we'll... Actually, I feel like I got some decent ranks here in this chapter. Um, because I, I feel like I was doing pretty good for most of this, so... Let's see... I won't know until after they go to the other side there, but... Okay, that's a... Silver on Lossus, Gold on... Madam there... Silver on... Silver on Biff Atlas? Really? I thought I did really well in that fight. I don't even remember what that boss was. Was that the pool guy there? I don't know who... I don't even remember half of these things. I just played this the other night. Gold on you. Silver on the twins. Okay, the twins were an annoying fight. I didn't think I took that much damage on Biff Atlas. Maybe I took more than 10 damage, I guess, but... Oh, the Miss Petunia was the bath, the bathroom fight. Now I remember that. And yeah, I did not remember that being what the pool guy looked like at all. That's not the kind of portrait I expected to see there. But all right, this is gonna be a lot of things here. We don't have anything of the other things, although one of them's worth nothing, so... 40 million so far. Not too bad. Alright. Now then, I believe if I go back up there, that's what starts the whole blackout scene. Um, hmm... I'm just trying to think. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna save here really quickly here. We are missing only 11 boos, which, again, like, this is kind of how fast the endgame stuff kind of catches up here. Because... There's... <sighs> chapter 4 of this game is really... Not... It doesn't really feel like a full chapter in a way. I'm also heading back this way because I want to get some water here. Even though I can get this on the upper floor, no problem. Actually, no, I guess I have to get that on the upper floor, huh? Mario! Mario! Oh, I still don't... I still don't have the key to go around there, either. That's a little on the annoying side. Mario! Hmm. Oh, wait, no. Hold on, there's water here. because I wanted to head out this way first. Not this room here. Getting all my rooms mixed up here because I can't differentiate half the rooms in this damn mansion. No, it's this room here that I wanted to go in. This is what I, was to do. I guess there was water right here, so. Hello, hello, gold diamond. I want that so badly right now. That's worth like 20 million right there. I didn't think that was actually possible to get this early. Though that makes sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense there. I just didn't think it was something we could have gotten yet. Also, that thing was totally just a party ball from Pikmin, that flower. Uh, I want to save after getting that, because, uh, yeah, that's going to be a ridiculous, like, <laughs> end of chapter bar bonus, though. Although, to be fair, the end of chapter thing, this is going to be where most of the, all the money in the game comes from here, because, you know, we just shot our totals up by, like, 20 million right there. 
I missed a few speedy spirits early on. I imagine, like, I missed about four of those. And I probably also missed most of the golden mice in the game. So... Again, I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. Um... Yeah... I guess I'll just have to be extra vigilant for the remaining speedy spirits and stuff. Mario. Hmm. I know coming up we're gonna be starting a pretty difficult part of this game though. I love how the light just instantly turns out whenever you get up to this part. Alright, I should be able to still explore this a little bit before the main event happens here, but... Emerald! Bar. That's a blood diamond there. That's worth literally nothing, but I'll take it. A lot of money there. I'm not even that much, but whatever. More money. There's a lot of, like, weird hidden secrets and stuff you can get in this area. I want that. There we go. Let me take another emerald. I think there's, like, pretty near one of every treasure here, except, obviously, the gold, um gold diamond, which is worth, like, the most, and there's only two of those in the game. Okay. Gold bar. Alright, that's, I believe, it for the rooftop here. Mario. So we'll keep on going, although I think this is going to start the whole blackout thing here, which I'm not looking forward to. This is kind of a tricky part. Yeah... Me, what a calamity. The, ele the electricity has gone out. Lightning strike just must cause massive blackout. I can't see anything in this bloated darkness. The ghosts will have run in place the dark. Be careful, Luigi. Uh, can I go this way here for anything in this darkness? Yes, but I don't think I want to be here in darkness. That seems like a really bad idea. Unless I have to be here? Like, hold on. Let me check this. Like, I should at least check this room here just to see. Cause... Oh yeah, this is the, the room that looks like Luigi's hanging himself here. Hello, hello, man. That's who... Speaking. Eek. Mario. Mario. Hello. Uh, Luigi. 
Who with me, Toad? Well, what would happen if we had a ghost answer? Anyway, it's her problem. Lightning caused the blackout all their host. True do. Really, really afraid of the dark. Isn't there a way you can just turn the lights back on? Huh? No, we don't know who. I'm hoping you'd know. But I think I remember do seeing a large bridge to switch somewhere in the basement. Oh, sorry to surprise you, boy. Three professor you get. Sorry for disturbing you. I don't usually contact you by Game Boy Horror, but I thought I'd try this phone since we were in this room. You now, all the ghosts avoid light and hide in the dark. But listen, there's one ghost who fled from the gallery who hides in the darkest places. His name is Uncle Grimley. He's on the loose. If he's on the loose, then now may be your only chance to get him. Why don't you try looking for him before you get those lights back on? You might be wise. He's old for a ghost, but he's only made him more cautious. I do know that, for some reason, he tends to prefer rooms with mirrors. Uh-oh, the ghosts are starting to approach your position. Be careful, Luigi. Um... Gonna be an endless chase. I should not have freaking. I should have investigated this stuff beforehand in case there's like a speedy spirit or something in here. Shoot. You're blue, but you're not a speedy spirit. That was somehow really cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm glad I checked that. Mm, last thing to check. More money. Mario. Yeah, okay, I can't go that way yet. Um, Ziangu, I don't know if you're still here or not, but, um, I remember you did ask me about, like, the 3DS version of this game. Um, I've never played it, but I've heard, at the very least, it's, um... What am I trying to say here? Um... Okay, this is a bit BS here. Can I get out of this bullcrap? I have heard the 3DS version of this game, um... Which way am I going here? Yeah, this way here. Um, the 3DS version I hear has kind of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon's flashlight mechanics, in which by that I mean you have like the like that game has like a charge up flashlight, I think. Um, I do know where Grimly might be hiding. I don't remember, like, if or where there's any, like, like, extra things that can spawn in during the blackout or not. Part of me wants to say there is, but, um, I think I want to say in Madame Clairvoy's room there's, like, a cold mouse that can spawn in there, I think. This way. Ah, uh, shoot. Where the heck is the? No, that's on like the in like the first area, isn't it? Now that I think about it. Or oh, wait. God, I hate this mansion. Sometimes, like I always get lost in here. Yeah, 
this okay, so this is the mirror room here. I don't think this is the room where he spawns in though. I want to say it's a different room. Does want to say there is a uh, golden nose that can spawn in here, but maybe I'm mistaken. Grimly wasn't in the mirror room. I think I know where he does show up, though. God, talk about enough ghosts here. I guess it isn't that hard to kill ghosts with that there. Yeah, there is a... Oh yeah, because I think you need to fight this guy to get the key to the basement now, don't you? Big pearl there. Oh, Alright, that wasn't perfect around there and Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna check here. No, okay. There is normally a speedy spirit in that room there. And I never got these plants that are out here. Huh. I need to come back there whenever I have water there. I don't think I got those. Actually, maybe I got those plants. I don't remember. I just want these damn lights on, honestly. This mansion's really freaking annoying without the... Wait. Okay, yeah, I do have the key to that room now. really understood this part of the game a whole heck of a lot, honestly. Because this door was open before. I don't think I'm going to have another shot at the speedy spirit that I missed in here. Oh well, 
God said, let the brie light. Oh, thank God. Oh, glad they take that. Your first 200 boo. <sighs> Great. These boos are just mm -hmm. annoying because all they do is just mm. go through room after room constantly here. <laughs> I do remember this room quite well. I don't remember why other than it's like pretty close to the final boss area. That boo reset positions there a second ago. Key. I just want to see if that one boo reset his position here, because... No, it didn't. There we go. Burpedes. God, these boos can be annoying in this area. There's a thing for getting on the ceiling here. Like, what the fudge was that, game? Like, I gotta go this way anyway, or... Okay, I believe we can go this way right now, but, um, this would be a bad way to go, because this is, like, the way to the final boss right here. Um, I'm not gonna go that way, because I think if you don't have 45 booze, you just get sent straight back to the beginning anyway. It's the freaking attic that I need to go back up to. Oh. Yeah, this part of the game I never really liked a whole lot. Just Well, like, I kind of like the, these areas conceptually. Like, I think um, they're, they're more interesting than the areas in, like, area 2 and 3 in a way. Um, at least in the sense you're exploring new floors with a different layout that's not just the same floor layout with... Two very, very similar rooms. Yeah, I still... I feel like I should have had that one key to open up that one door. But evidently I do not. Yeah, okay, I see where I'm going now. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez, I just realized what fight we have coming up. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Probably not as annoying as just walking all this way back here, but still kind of on the annoying side. Yeah, we're definitely a lot further along in the game than I thought we were. I mean, 
the only other time I played through this game start to finish was when I was, like, really young, and there was a lot of about the game I didn't really understand or get into when I was younger. Um, I know I didn't beat, like, <sighs> I'm trying to think of, like, I know I was stuck on, like, the first fight with the pink ghost, which is only, like, the second fight in the game, because I did not understand how the vacuum mechanics of this game worked. And, like, the... Oh. Okay, hello, Mr. Bones. The, um... Um, I believe the orange ghosts can slowly be killed with just normal, um, inhaling. Which is what I tried to do, but, like, failed that miserably. I feel like there was also a speedy spirit in this room that I probably missed, but, oh well. Three hundred boomerang. Come on, really? <sighs> well, this this fight's already annoying enough with. Well, I don't want to be activating that, but I doubt there'd be a speedy spirit in this room. A lot of stuff here is pretty, like, designed to be interacted with. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that for a minute, because I do want to try and get this one boo. Mario. This is not the most interesting of things in the world, because these boos have way too much health, but... Like, I don't see why I'm, like, missing these guys so much now. Like, I just don't get the hitboxes on these things very much. Mario. But, oh well. Hmm. Like, that wasn't even me trying to aim upward there. That was just the game, like automatically targeting up there. Hmm. Well, I'm not getting that now. to get a heart. Yeah, here we go. Got an, an, a semi-annoying boss fight coming up here, so... I don't mean to keep interacting with that dang chair there. because there's three of these things here. What the? I've... I've never seen getting two of these guys at once here. That's actually kind of wild. I didn't think that was going to last there, but... I didn't want to inhale that.
This is an annoying boss fight. This is a really annoying boss fight. Okay, I got one of them at the very least. Okay, got number two there. And starting to get number three here. Alright, that was actually not so bad. I think I got mostly, um, I think I've gotten mostly silver ranks on most bosses in this game, now that I think about it. There we go. Time for the six o'clock blues. See, there we go. I was actually stunning that guy pretty decently, but... You just don't really... Okay, get random money there. You just don't really target the booze very often, and that's kind of one thing that makes it annoying to do so. Come on, really? You had to freaking run all the way to the hallway there? That was a really good attempt there, but... Oh well. Let's see if we can hopefully get this guy before he runs off to the left there. Okay. I don't know why he didn't run to the side there, to the left-hand side, but... That somehow worked decently well in our favor, and I'm not really sure why. No, don't you dare freaking go off the side. Thank you. That's our first of the 300 ones there. Only 10 left. Wouldn't mind having another heart for this, but I mean we just saved here, so I'm not too too concerned here. Now then. Oh, there's a bunch of shy guys here, and I know there's also a secret area here on the roof as well. And I don't know what's with the timing of these guys. Probably just not me shining the flashlight in them long enough there, but... Yeah, see, like, I don't know why that other guy... 
wasn't like fucked up with that, but or like why I couldn't get that one there that time, but I saw him, like, raise his fist there, um, kind of looked like that one, uh, Trailer Park Boys Bubbles meme where he's, like, um, about to raise the fists. Alright, there is a key there. Alright, that leads, that's a different room in the attic, I believe. It's kind of funny looking at this here and realizing kind of how far technology has come, because, like, I'm sure for, like, 2001 standards, I know this game looked really well, but, um, just with the background and stuff, I can, like, plain as day tell, like, the differences with the background images and stuff. Anyways, I do know there is a secret here. Sealed room. Ooh, that is a very rare freaking find in there. I'm actually shocked that that worked because that's like a one in five, I think. I know that that um, mouse is a little bit fickle with when it decides to show up and when it doesn't. I'm open these very, very, very carefully in case. This was not what I wanted to think about. Oh, God, this looks abs absolutely terrible here. God. from that and you're you have one hit to death here I guess you're already kind of dead as it is but now you're extra dead oh shoot I don't know if I wanted to turn on the lights on from that there uh, we might have missed a speedy spirit here souls only show up when it's dark out maybe not I don't know for 100% certain, but... I remember I found this before I found the hidden room anyway. Um, like the hidden room that we can find way earlier on in the game. Yeah, I'm thinking that was a speedy spirit there. Shoot. Can't win them all sometimes, unfortunately. I do want that gold bar, and I want that one as well. And what's this? This is actually I know what this is. This is the key to the that one other room. Yeah. Alright, we got everything we needed here. <sighs> I think we have most of the tougher bosses in the game out of the way now, like... Oh, 
come on, really? We still don't have this stupid key yet? <laughs> Actually, even though I think we can get water in the room where we're heading off to. I guess at the very least, I got the golden mouse in that room because I would not have realized that there was a golden mouse there, or I kind of might have forgotten. But yeah, it's if you it's like a one in five chance of that thing showing up, I'm pretty sure. And if you mess that up, you have to like leave the area and come all the way back so it's a little on the annoying side Okay, I'll gladly take that. Um, yeah, what do I need this here for? In fact, I can't leave this, like... Oh wait, do I need the... Do I need to light both of those? There's candles on the wall here. Yep. There's something very, very... Uninteresting. Yeah, I didn't see those candles at first, um, but I see them now, which is all good. I had a feeling it was something to do with fire, because, like, why else would they have given it here? I remember the next part of this game and what the, um, actually, I need fire for that. Oh, wait, no, I have, I need water for this, never mind. Get out of here, please and thank you. Okay, come on. I don't know what you saw right here, man. There's gonna be an ice guy spawn here in a second. Isn't there? Or, come on. There we go. Not the time to be searching for a boo here, but... See, like, I was having- I'm having no trouble, like, with these boos here, but the freaking ones in the attic, for some reason, I was just not able to lock onto. Uh, I think I've gotten most of the plants in the mansion already. Um, I know I've gotten the uh, the big one. Like, I have the gold diamond from the plants already, so... Okay, this fight I do remember. Okay, I'll 
try to wake me. Go away. I remember this fight just for the weird premise of the fight. Like, besides the fact we're on the ceiling here. Um, like, I think if we examine her, I won't wet the bed, I promise. I think it tells you... Yeah, you can leave the room here to... Like... Yeah, I think you have to spray the bed there. Yep. And her dolls become killer and start trying to attack. Damn it, I knew that was gonna happen there too. Hit me there. I don't think it was the doll that time, but oh, or I could get the. I didn't think her heart was visible during that, but okay. And I think we just gotta leave and come back in. Yeah. Please tell me this is the key that opens up that one shortcut. No, but this is a silver diamond. I'll gladly take that. And a load of money as well. Um. So, question who remembers this game better than I do? Uh. What opens up that one shortcut by Biff Atlas's room? So that I don't need to go through the freaking, like, really long outside area again all the time? So I feel like I should have had that opened up by now already. Lisa. Thank you. Okay, I'll gladly save. Okay, Egad's talking about a boss we have yet to fight. I think we're still heading up. Stairs, right? Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. So I think we have to fight Jarvis and Van Gore here, I think. And then I think that's technically like. Oh, shit. Yes, I believe you're right. Thank you for the. <sighs> I'll get that next time I'm in the area. I feel like I... Oh, it... oh, damn it. No, I need to go outside and then around in. That's what I'm missing here. I'm in the wrong area. Yeah, that... I'm pretty sure that is the key requirement there. There's not really a heart in this statue here, isn't there? Yeah. God, I feel like a moron for forgetting that. Uh, then again, it's not like the game really tells you about that one too much. Is this one also good? Part? No. Alright. That, I'm pretty sure, is a fake. This is a real door. This room, I'm almost positive, has a speedy spirit in it. Um, you're not a speedy spirit. Um, Mario. 
This is a weapon here. Oh, shoot. I want to get rid of this green guy first. You're not a stupid ghost. I'm gonna let you go here in case. No. Are you the last thing in this room? No, okay. No speedy spirit in this room. I kept. Gladly take this. That's a bomb. This is gonna be another. Oh, this is a one fifty. Damn it, of course he went up there. I'm just gonna double quickly check here because I feel like these boos might have respawned. Ah, uh, doesn't look like it. So there might be about three boos in this next room, which is already a boss store anyway, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, well, there's a boo. This is the one I was just fighting. That actually wasn't the boss I thought it was in there, which makes a little bit more sense, but it's. Yeah. You're back in the this room. Of course you are. Of course you are. Oh, I didn't mean to trigger this fight here yet. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Um, I was gonna say, I, I don't think I ever saw what happened if you refused that cutscene before. I didn't know it would boot you out of that. Under Boo? Really? 
I'm actually, uh, not gonna lie, I'm a tiny bit surprised I got away with that choke. Like, it's enough for that it would slip under, like, radars, but... Really? Underboo? I do love a good underboo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I need to get this place here. This is like a matching game here, I think, if I remember right. If I remember right, this is also, like, really, really easy for a light game encounter. I see. Yeah, there's definitely something there. Anything else in these? Heart. Money. Oh, sorry. Let's try this one again. Or... Oh, there we go. I was like, why aren't you spawning in, Jarvis? I remember hearing that this is like a pretty easy area for like a late game boss fight. That freaking mushroom there. Oh, yeah. This chicken tambourine. Damn it, whatever. I'll take this key at least. Or money instead? Okay. Now, do I? Oh, yeah. Mario. Yeah. No. Oh, there's another, there is another boo in here. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Hiding in the. Oh, yeah. yeah. Same. They're not the same, but. Yeah, oh, this was a boo from earlier, right? That makes a little more sense then. was somehow getting both of those mm -hmm. together there. Oh, 
This is an annoying game, whether you like to admit it or not. This is actually very annoying. I think the rest of the booze are in the basement, though, after this. in the hallway too which means I'm probably gonna lose it now mm -hmm. I always suck inhaling them in this hallway yep <sighs> gotta go all the way around again Mario. For five HP boo thank you now to get the... whatever the other one was up in this area. That doesn't really have a whole lot of health either, so... Hmm. Kinda crazy we are only missing six boos now. Find him in this room here, just because this room's kind of wide here. Got him. Nice. That should be all the booze in the attic, because I missed a few in the basement already. Um, and how many rooms are even left down there anyway? just missing here. I guess that must be Jarvis's room. Or not Jarvis, the the painter guy. I'm trying to think of what else we have in the basement. I know there's the ice guy down there, but like what else? Um Yeah, I'm actually not really sure right now. Okay, well, first thing... Actually, this isn't the right room. Never mind. We are heading back down to the base. I guess I should have taken the a mirror down there, but whatever. I want to get this stupid treadmill key before I forget it here, because... Oh, this is such a dumb thing to miss. Thank God. God, you have no idea how much I missed this shortcut here. This is a heart, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. That was a nice graphical error. There's bound to be a few boos in some of these basement rooms here. The basement's kind of a carbon copy of the attic, which in itself means I don't really like it a whole lot either, but... Okay. Yeah, okay, I do remember this room here. Okay, I'm getting 
stuck on stuff I can't see here. Get off me. Uh, really quick, I don't think there's any speedy spirits or anything in this area here. It's just ice. This is nothing. Let's see what I have to do here. And that's something I am going to do. Um, I see what I... Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I freeze the radioactive crap there. I see how this is. And I just turn this off here. is the room just below me, which I know what that room is there, too. I'm boofing. Yeah, these are the boosts that really did not need to have 300 HP, but they just kind of do anyways. This is a boo from an earlier room. Hmm, damn it. Thank you. Did that thing just fly above there, seriously? What room is directly above there in the... <sighs> really? Okay, well... I'm gonna get this area out of the way first. so I can get it out of the way. I only have 41 HP. That's not bad, though. And you fly into a hallway with 9 HP. A hallway that I'm not going to be able to hit you in. Come on. This boo has 4 freaking HP. Thank you. Missing four boos here. One's in the room up above me, one's in the ice room, and then one's in the last room here. Huh. I see. Can I get some health here, please? idea for a boss fight, though. Oh, come on. Okay, I don't know what blocked me that time. I guess I must have just ran into him. Definitely not getting a good rank on this guy.
That was not the boo for this room, by the way. That was a different boo. Yeah. Oh, that, this isn't the boo for this room either, huh? See, like, I have no problem with these boos here at all. What the hell was with it before? Now, don't get me wrong, there's still a freaking, like, still another boo in this room that has 300 HP, but... Oh, this one only has 150. Thank you. Oh, I don't know. Uh, whatever. Oh. Oh. Hello, big heart. I would gladly like that. You have no health. And then there's just one more in the basement here, and there's one more up top. Okay. Kind of crazy how f little we have left of this game. Wow. Now there is the boo up here. There's only like three things a boo can be in in this room anyway. Boulder Dash. Damn it, I knew it was as soon as he hit me, he was gonna run to the hallway there. He's in. Ah, crap, of course he's that way. Get this boo without him flying back the other side. That'd be great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I can definitely do that. I said, I. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Damn it. I guess they just have really bad, like, stun detection when they're in the hallways. Like, they don't like being stunned in those for some reason. I'm not really totally 100% sure on that one. Unless I'm wrong, I think in theory I can fight the final boss right now. I, unless I, unless that door's locked with, like, a key plus the, um needing all the boos. You don't need all of them, you need like 45 of them, I think, which is still most of them in the game, but it's... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I just need to stretch here for a minute. We are pretty much at the end of this, though, which is really <sighs> kind of nuts to think about. Um, I might as well save since I'm in the area. There's a toad right here. Mm hmm? Never know with a another boss hmm. fight. I have to go 
all the way across the mansion, and then I have to go all the way back to the basement again for the huh? final boss. <laughs> um, so yeah, how's... I hope everyone in chat's been having a pretty good day. Um... Pretty good Thanksgiving if you're if you celebrate that. I don't personally well like I don't celebrate American Thanksgiving because I'm not American, but um if you do celebrate that then hope you all had a good turkey day and or if you're vegetarian or something, hope you just had a really good dinner in general. I know I know this year's been a little bit harder to do more certain traditional things, but um, yeah. And time to go all the way around. Actually, no, wait, no, I don't need to go all the way around. It's this door here that I need to go in. I think they treat this kind of like a... Kind of like an end of area boss, except, and it kind of is in a strange way, but it's also not. Sorry, I just need to stretch here for a second. You filthy swine, you're blind to the life I give to my creations. It's invaluable, I'll show you the mastery of my art. Nice, got all three at once. I remember this fight being kind of, kind of a bit annoying, but wow, those things are fast. I don't know what I took damage on there again, because shoot, now they're gonna be in separate areas. God, I hate fighting these things in groups. I don't know how I wasn't hit by any of that at all. Honestly, I kind of still feel like I would like Luigi's Mansion if the suction wasn't on a freaking analog trigger, because I don't really like the game analog triggers a whole lot, as I've kind of discovered in recent times, I think. Or, like, why I only got one of those guys and not all three there. Get off of me. Get off of me. Like, okay, I'm trying to shine the light on these guys. Was it just the outskirts of my light? Like... I guess the light stun is better up close, which is probably why I was having an easier time with the speedy spirits whenever I was shining them immediately, because usually I was shining them rather up close. That's actually probably what it is, actually. I don't think I ever really realized that, honestly. Man, I'm missing all of these hearts. Okay, no, I got one of them in the cutscene there. These guys are going to suck up here. Especially in big groups of numbers, they can definitely get on the annoying side. Come on, I'm not slipping on these damn bananas. There we go. Okay, these guys die also in like zero hits. So. Got him. 
my my creations. Believe it, I disappear by work with live on Zant is right. And Miss Pa Art is eternal. Huh? Says that only one of my creations is left, but it cannot be. Zero laws. Okay, that was weird there. Okay, I got a big pearl and I got perfect on that guy. Nice. I hope that counts as a gold rank considering I started that part of the fight with 90 there. I don't it probably doesn't knowing this jank game, but I hope it does. And yes, I know one like small quirk with the last boo here. Of course it's a 300 here, why isn't it? Hmm. This is gonna get very, very annoying here. I hope he just goes into this room in and out all the time, because... Or at least the room to my south here, because if he doesn't, then, uh... I'm wandering around this attic a lot, then. Okay... Okay, I find it kind of annoying I'm, like, hitting this guy every time these door transitions happen here, but... Okay, well, I did, I did a lot on that round there. Got him! Nice! Okay, I'm not saving there, because if something happens, that gold diamond is just gone, and that is not good. You need to go back to a save room with that guy, or like a save toad here, um, because otherwise that could just be completely missing, and that's not good. Okay, well that's it for that, and now it's just the final boss time. Wow. I can't believe how fast this kind of came and went here. There's not a mirror anywhere around here, is there? I think there might be one in here, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. Nice. Very, very nice. Alright, let's save here. There we go, because that's 50 out of 50 boosts here, and I have the diamond now, so that's... If I can account for that there. I definitely missed a lot of gems there, holy god. There's supposed to be 10 of each. So, uh, like 10 of the sapphires, emeralds, and rubies. Mario. Hmm. So... If I missed, like... My rank is going to come down entirely on that, I think. So, I might have missed, like, the best rank be just because of that alone there. Hopefully not, but I guess we'll wait and see. Having both the gold diamonds will definitely help, though, because... Saying my maximum would be 40 grand there. I'm going to have at least... At least 80 grand from just the... Or not 80. At least 40 grand from the gold diamonds alone. And by 40 grand, I mean 40 mil. 40 grand's too low for the Luigi. Hmm. Oh god. I doubt this is gonna work out too well, because I remember not liking this final boss. I'm just gonna say that straight up front.
Okay, before going further, is it this here, here? Yes. Okay, nice. Yeah, for some reason, there's just a sapphire there literally right before the final boss. And a gold bar for some reason. Okay. Nothing else, is there? I thought it was a ruby for some reason, but sapphire's probably nicer, actually. Nope. Alright. Oh, dear God. I could just stare at my Mario painting. It's true what they say about fine art. It takes utterly refined sensibilities to truly appreciate it. That way, when you bleed for Mario, I find it so satisfying. Absolutely. I remember it caused me in the past. Seriously, though, who'd actually believe that man shouldn't get away with contests? Talk about stupid. Why do they feed you Mario Brothers anyway? Global soup? Your brother came all this way just to turn the painting. It's just terrific. However. <laughs> This Mario painting looks lonely. I must have a Luigi painting as well. Then my gallery will be truly complete. <laughs> I'm not afraid of you, fool. I fear that only the Infernal Poltergeist 3000 you carry on the back. Stupid machine. But I'm a king among moves. I swear. No, I shall fear no mere house cleaning device. I must say, I despise the way you shwerp, shloop, whoop, shlurg, vacuum up all my friends. Don't imagine that I'll flee. I'll fight you like a true boo. Now join your brother inside this painting. Alright, final boss time. I remember this giving me a lot of trouble when I was younger. So I guess we'll wait and we'll see how this goes here. I haven't died to anything else in this game though. It's actually this game's easier than I remember it being in a way. But um I guess we'll see how this goes here. Because I remember this fight giving me a lot of trouble here. I do vaguely remember what I'm doing with it, though, at the very least. Not that there. I use this attack here. Or just... Um, or... Oh, shoot, no, I have to wait for him to do that there and then suck it up here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I have to wait for him to do his inhale there and then toss the bomb back at him. That's the way this fight works. Somehow. Okay, phase one of that went pretty smoothly there. King Boo has a really large hitbox for some reason, but I'm not going to complain about that. Okay, he's almost halfway there. Can't complain too much about that there. Oh, Jesus, I didn't mean to be sucked up by that. Oh, no, don't do... This does a lot of damage, doesn't it? 15. And I can get burned in me... Oh, come on, that is dumb. That's dumb. This isn't a fighting game. You shouldn't be able to combo me that easily there. Okay.
Wow, okay, that it'll be next phase whenever I finish King Boo off there. Okay, I know but he does put the head on backwards here, and this does cause me to go a little berserk here, but... there. That's dumb. I'm sorry. That is really dumb that that attack missed. I do like kind of the more vintage N64 era Bowser sounds there. Okay, got him. This should be it here, I think. Not to jinx it, but I'm surprised Bowser doesn't hit me. That's it. Wow. We got the crown. Guys, that's it for Luigi's Mansion. The Headless King has been befelled. did it. Truly remarkable, my boy. Despite the Poltergeist 3000, but you ran with it all the way to the top, Sonny. I mean, it's so proud, Snore. Get a hold of yourself, Gad. What's that? You fan King Boo? He jumped into a painting of Bowser. You say he even blew fire at you? Well, in all my years of ghost research, I've never heard of such a fantastic tale. And yet, career spans 60 years, mind you. Well, I still recall starting as a young whelp who trembled at the mere thought of a ghost. Trembled, I say. Oh, beg your pardon. This old brain goes right collecting everything now and then. I could sit down and fill a week spinning ghost yarns. Why? Just last... Right, Luigi. Anywho, grab your brother's painting and bring him back to the lab. I actually have a true story with this here. Um, That final boss um, of this game... Um, I remember when I first played this game, I got a friend of mine to play that final battle for me. Because I just could not beat it for some reason, and a friend told me he'd be able to do it for me. And literally, as, like, Luigi picked up the crown, the game froze. And then he never tried it again that night or whatever, so I still had, like, the save file, like, that save file without the boss being beaten for, like, the longest time. This will mess with your head. Oh, hard day's work lasted only a single night. Well done, Luigi. It last lasted two nights for me, but whatever. Mansion those booze built disappeared into the night. But the treasure seemed real. I have no interest in such stuff, so go on and keep it all. How use it however you like. Say what? Not frowning about money? I guess we better get your brother back. Of course, your brother's really important, but first we have to take care of these last ghosts. Alright, let's see how badly I did on this. I don't think I got a single bronze rank in this entire game, though. I'd be very content if we got entirely silvers with, like, a few golds here and there. So, I guess we'll wait and see. This cutscene is always pretty amusing, though. Ghosts are invisible. So we need to... Press an invisible forms. It looks like... That looks like a bronze on the final boss. Whatever. Silver on Jarvis. Silver on you. Gold on... Okay, gold on the artist. That makes sense. Gold on... That guy. Silver on the toy soldiers. I'll live with that. That one's annoying. Okay, bronze on... Yeah, I, did, I guess I did take quite a few hits on the ice guy. Which are dollar sonas that nobody but me has such lovely paintings. I believe that's just about everything here. Vincent Van Gore. Supi. Yeah, I, I guess that is a silver on the final boss painting. I don't know what that usually looks like, but that seems about right there. Okay. 23 ghosts. I think that's every ghost in the game. Let's see the money here. Do we have a good rank for this?
101 million. I want to say that's a... I don't know if it's 150 million you need or not. It probably is, but... I don't know. I mean, I missed a lot of rubies, emeralds, and sapphires. Especially sapphires. Sapphires are only worth 500,000 a piece, so... Hmm. I don't know. I feel like that's where my entire rank is gonna depend on, I think, but... Um... I guess we'll wait and see. But first we do have kind of a funny cutscene. Seems great. Okay, that- this cutscene is great. <laughs> Alright, um... I gotta say, uh, my overall opinion changed on this game dramatically. I was never really a huge fan of this game, but, uh... This game was more fun than I remembered it, believe it or not. Um... And it's funny, because up until when I started streaming on Tuesday night, my opinion of this was didn't really change much when I first did Area 1. But then something kind of clicked with me about halfway through Area 2. I don't know if it was just understanding the mechanics or the controls a little bit more, but uh, I grew to really actually enjoy this game. Um, I enjoyed it a lot more than I remembered it. This was probably the most fun I've had playing this game, and I, I enjoyed playing it, like, the first time I played it as a kid, too, to a degree, but it wasn't really something I would, like, replay over and over. Um, and I also just didn't really know what I was doing a whole lot. Um, it's still probably not my favorite GameCube game, probably not my favorite Mario game on the GameCube. I choked that up to me getting my GameCube a few years later and Mario Sunshine already being out at the time, but, um, yeah, this game was actually better than I remembered it being. Um, I do legitimately really looking, look forward to playing this, which will probably be at some point. I'm not sure when, maybe next, probably next week, actually, I would say. Um, like next Tuesday, Thursday. This is, this is gonna take me a lot more than, uh, one session just because um i'll be going in completely blind in this i haven't even opened this out of the package yet so um yeah i do look forward to playing luigi's mansion 3 at some point i know i haven't played dark moon before either but from what i understand i don't think i need to really play dark moon to get the most out of three i think they're all pretty standalone in their own way what rank house do we get? And so the matter of ghosts is settled, Professor Gao is delighted of all his painting of his returns. I used to treasure Luigi head and built a new home for Luigi. Alright. Let's see how terrible this building is. Oh. Is that that's I I somehow got the best ranking on that. Okay. I thought for some reason it was 150 million. I'm really okay with that. My first playthrough, I'm pretty sure I ended this with a D rank. So, I'm very, very happy. I am I think I must have just barely got A on that. Like, I'm guessing A is 100 million. Um, yeah, that's something. Alright, so that's going to do it for the stream here. Um... Gonna... Oh. 
here really quickly. Um, I, I want to say A is 100 million. I think in some versions of the game, either maybe even in hard mode, they might change, I think, what the total is, but I'm not sure. Also, we're going to get to look at these crows again for like the fifth time, because <laughs> we just can't have a stream without looking at these damn crows. Um, but, yeah. Hmm. Um, I think it's a good idea to maybe do a raid here. Um, we're going to, this is probably going to be it for the stream here. I, I'll be honest, I actually wasn't expecting to finish the game tonight. And like, closer to like, the end of Area 3, going into Area 4, I was like, okay, are we gonna play the rest of this tonight or not? But I'm glad we did, honestly. I... Hello? I actually... I, I've always liked Luigi as a character a lot. He's usually who I pick in Mario Party and stuff, but... Now... Like... I can definitely say that I... I still don't think this is one of my favorite GameCube games, but at the same time, I... I like this game a lot more than I originally did. So, who's streaming on Twitch right now that we can raid here? Um. Um, I think we might skip out on the raid tonight. There's not really anyone I follow that's typically streaming right now, so, um, I think we're just gonna skip out on the raid for tonight. Um, this was a fun stream, though. Uh, this was a fun game to experience on stream again, because I haven't played Luigi's Mansion start to finish in a long time, but, um, yeah. I'll be back, um, I'll be back, I haven't decided between either Saturday or Sunday with the rest of Mario Sunshine, I, I usually stream that game on Sundays, and I want to just finish that, because I've held off for about three weeks on actually finishing that, so, um, sometime this weekend anyway, the last stream of that will be this weekend, and, um, yeah, Excuse me for a second. Um, here's those damn crows again. Next week, we'll probably start up Luigi's Mansion 3, and then we'll probably also maybe try and find another game to stream, like, kind of on off days or something. I kind of want to start making Twitch a little bit more presented, I guess, in a way. Um, but, yeah. Anyways, I'm rambling at this point. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, thank you for people who are in the chat tonight. And I'll see you guys. Hopefully for the rest of Mario Sunshine. And hopefully for whenever I eventually start up Luigi's Mansion 3 here. So, this is... Yeah, there we go. I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out. <laughs>